Jim Creighton, VP of Global Strategic Services for ARI, talks about the global fleet market and notes that managing a long-distance fleet can be done with the right tools in order. Our fleet strategy from a global perspective is we are trying to make sure that we are a resource to our customers to make sure that wherever their needs are around the globe, that we can make sure they're in touch with the, the, the best fleet management services provider in that region of the world. So we have a strategic alliance with partners in South America, in Africa, in the uh, Pacific Rim, in Australia. And in Europe, our, our strategy there is to do consulting services. And then since it's such a diverse uh, group of countries and suppliers within there, we try to find the best supplier, be it a major supplier or a, or a smaller player, to meet the customer's needs in the European continent. And that's our strategy from a global perspective right now. We've had uh, interest in, in Mexico and Canada. We've, we've owned uh, you know, interest from, since the early 90s. But from a, a global alliance, I'd, I'd say probably going on close to 15 years, we've had a global alliance from a partnership standpoint and a very, 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 very uh, focused uh, work probably in the last five years where we've really tried to step up our consulting services, working very closely with our global partners to make sure we meet the needs of what our clients want. No matter where the decision maker is, if the decision maker is in North America or the decision maker is in Europe or maybe in, in, in Asia, um, there still is a lot of local decision making and a lot of local um, control. And it's very difficult to manage a fleet all around the, the globe. The, the key that we found is data integration. So where we focused a lot of attention is working very closely with the, the, the global suppliers. In some cases, they may be our competitors here in North America, but they're global suppliers for us elsewhere around the globe and we work very hardly on, on uh, very hard on the data integration so we work on data feeds and get uh, driver information or vehicle information cost data at a very high level not transactional level very high level and consolidate all that data into our reporting tools so a fleet manager can sit at, at their desk in North America and see how their fleets operating around the whole world or they could use our tool and sit at a desk in Europe and see how their, their fleets operating around the world. So we focused a lot of attention on data integration to get the information and that's how we think is a good tool to, to manage a fleet globally. There still is going to be a lot of global, uh, global policies but a lot of local decision making and it's very difficult um, to, to, to make any global policies without having the data, and that's where we're focusing our attention right now. If we get a global RFP, essentially what we do is, if it's a true global RFP that covers the, the, you know, everywhere around the world, we would, we would work in concert with our alliance partners. So if it's for North America, anything for US, Mexico, Canada, ARI would, would respond to that. But then if it, was for, if it included Australia, we would work with our partner, Oryx. If it, if it was for South America, we would figure out which one of our two partners in South America was best prepared to handle that bid and work closely with them. And essentially what we do is we, we submit a consolidated bid, bid response on behalf of GFS or Global Fleet Services. That would be our umbrella over all of our alliance partnerships.